Ash, um, <laughs> as I always uh, do call. We do have a fight here in mid, and actually Anthem and Medusa gonna get them started pretty well. A couple of pickoffs there in mid, and now can just kind of reset online as rapidly as you possibly can. But looks like oh, DFM not backing away. Protection? Did he not notice the left. swing? Yeah, he well, he knows about it now. But paranoia, <laughs> it connects on him. I think he might have not noticed. Now Bang coming around corner finds the kill. Yeah, really crisp with that one. Just a couple of shots, takes down Texture, and now 5v2, they're going to get the plant down on B. And you see, <laughs> this is not going to be easy for the guys of Gen Z to actually break into here. Meteor is going to be looking through this one. We'll see when they actually do decide to go for the push, as we do have May just waiting, watching Heaven, waiting to see. Lockia will push through here. They do have the smoke down. Meteor not even going to be able to get the pick off oh. down. And actually, May just going to go up the rope and take him down. And Meteor 1v5. This is not looking good for them. DFM starting off strong. There they are. There's the push out of the smoke. May with a 3k here in the pistol round. And one player, Meteor there with that mark. Could have been huge as oh May. Oh my god. Very aggressive. Um, and the rest of the team is following up on this one. May creating some space. He just trade one for one. But gonna get onto the site and also get the plant down. Shoulder spot there on the Lockia who does have to back away. He's really low. Nets still trying to control Ram. He's able to find one. Looks for a little bit more of Munchkin. Will be able to take him out. But Medusa in the meantime here on site finds Munchkin. Maintaining a man advantage here for DFM. This would be a monstrous bonus conversion here for them. It's already looking really strong. I mean, with the plant down, they've got a great setup already. The rotation is coming in from the side of Gen G. But it's only the two of the Meteor and Karan to try to get in, as that is going to be a nice entry. They do get a couple of headshots already, but Anthem peeking around the back of Elbow. He's able to get one more kill with the Bulldog. Can oh, yes, it is by time. One? It's just not really any time. Karan has to stick onto this one. There's a push yeah. up. There's the kill, and the bone is converted. Timing to be able to find one. It's Trailblazer will be able to spot two. Showstoppers in May. Point blank. Yep, he will take himself down, but still finds value. Lockia. Fantastic headshot. Yeah, that's going to be perfect for him. Actually getting some value here on the Thrifty so far. Bit of a pickup on the stinger for Munchkin. We'll see if they can hold on to this one. That's one more. And Munchkin. How, How do they hear this? As they take them all down. And that is the Thrifty that you called, Achilles. I hear out on that camera. That's able to spot two, I believe, uh, but oh, tries to push forward. <laughs> a texture just gets in in front of the wall, is able to take him down. Yeah, excellent he went movement very there. Aggressive. And now they're trying to push on in, but excellent blind comes out from the side of Karan. Gonna give them some time, but now making their way onto the B site. Anthem leading the charge, and that's gonna be a quick cleanup from Munchkin, who is currently. Just waiting for the rest of the push to come through, waiting in the smoke oh. as well. And oh, a little bit uh, not clean on that one. And now TFM are on the site. They pick up three kills. They give themselves a chance in this one. Texture, the both of them in heaven, moving quickly, but oh, May going to pick up a third. As fast onto the site here is Texture with that shorty going to move in. The spike hasn't been planted. The spike has not been planted. Texture could just back away, but there's a Ooh. pit drop. Medusa. Oh, it's so genius. Things opened up a bit. Around the corner is Munchkin there on Rafters. Mm -hmm. I think first time to go for a swing, but it's being watched. Assess at the moment, waiting for it, and there you go. Shots firing out. Enemy that kill. Meteor finally able to find the headshot. Assess will also fall. Yeah, Medusa and Anthem, though, they are going to make their way in onto the site. Anthem picks up a second, and they give themselves a chance here to get this plant down on the B site. Was a good start for the side of Genji. A couple pickoffs in heaven, but not anymore. As now the showstopper coming on in. Texture trying to clear out the side, and there's just no hope for Anthem. And they know there. where Medusa is. They heard him running out in towards Mail and the spike right now. Not in a great position for Medusa to try to get covering fire on that one to try to take him off this. Just has to concede it. Didn't have any snake bites either. Will look for the kill in the end, but Lockyer just very nicely for Genji as Texture again looking to go on an aggro angle. Being held here by May, but that first shot, that opener from May, it just goes right over his shoulder and texture. He does not whiff those. He's just been so clean. I mean, he just consistently is getting pickoff after pickoff early on in these rounds, getting those first kills. And now Munchkin trying to push out into mid. There is a lot of presence here from the side of DFM, and now Meteor's got Surprise! an operator as well. It's a double up setup. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, was definitely not expecting that one, I guess. Pushes into his death. This time in there on the drift across from Munchkin. Gets himself over in towards Mail. Right as the Poison Orb drops. So just zero information about this Viper's positioning. Seekers do get cleared. Jinjin just widely confirming that 
They're going to be in this mid to B side of the map. Just now going to be spotted. Swing at Lakia. Trying to see if he can get a catch, but Anthem is watching for it. Very nice punish to try to get this in this round, but Medusa now gone. Zest trying to move on in through the pit. That's not going to work out. Immediately gets shot down by Texter. As that shot finally, Texter, he is capable of missing. <laughs> um, as I have finally found out, Anthem here 1v3. Not in a great spot. Munchkin a quick one. And Genji are able to tie things up here on the defensive side. Angel's still available for May. Let's see where that one ends up going. Can help open things up on this push here for the rest of his team. And that looks like oh. he's just going to try to challenge in towards screens. Munchkin, however, able to find Anthem. His attention is tied here on towards Texture and swings the oh corner. God. Yeah, it's just an explosion of death. Do too much. <laughs> I mean, I, it's I, not I, fair, is I, it? I, for crying out loud, Flipshider just went zero kills yesterday in a victory on Icebox versus Bleed. So <laughs> if you have players that are popping the hell off, send you till and make good calls. <laughs> so Gen G, they get a very clean entry here onto the site. They don't take any damage at all. And DFM are just going to be looking for the retake. We do have already Texture just hanging on to the showstopper, buying some extra I, time. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's such a tempo alt use here. Expecting that they're going to try to just get a flood retake going, and that just completely slows them up. Showstopper is out of the way, but time is ticking. Limited util to try to utilize to get themselves back in a position. And Munchkin playing around with a tiny little gap in the wall. They're not going to swing in towards him, but in the meantime, Meteor able to find one before he gets taken down. Now you do see the push coming in, and Munchkin still here on this angle, not able to land it. Anthem is able to take him down, and the entry comes in. DFM. Waiting here to try to intercept that smoke coming down onto Heaven, though, should tell DFM everything they need to know, especially given that there's just no time remaining. Paranoia Cross connects in onto May. Meteor able to find one. Munchkin gets the other. Spike can now be planted. Yeah, they're just left. overwhelming them, looking straight into the blind, and the two of them just got absolutely cleared out in a moment's time. And now DFM, 3v5. They are going to actually look for a peek here at them, and immediately he's going to be taken out by Meteor, and now they're absolutely just going to look to save this one. So Gen G, Cover going yes, the one round did go the way of DFM, but still feels like they're very much in control at the moment. Bit of information that there could be some pressure through the garage, and in fact, there is. Meteor's just right peeking here, coming on in pretty quickly. Has the backup of his team, a bunch of blinds to get him in onto the site. Snake bite up top as well to clear it out, as in the back alley, at least Anthem able to trade one out. He does throw out the Seekers, but immediately those are cleaned up, and now a third member from the side of DFM trying to push out of there. Maybe unexpected, but Genji at least able to get onto the site so far. Goomba not spotting Meteor, so just leaves it be. Paint Shells to try to check back Fox here, but no one to receive that damage. Heals up from Lock here, just getting Meteor back up to 100. 3v4 odds stacked against them here. Just a snake bite. The only tool that they have at the moment here to really try to clear out any angles. May will go for the drop down. Meteor is eating an immense amount of decay to try to get a bit of a surprise shot off onto them. And gets the jump to find the kill. Yeah, very sneaky one from Meteor. He does go down eventually. But a lot of aggression here against DFM, and they're crumbling under the pressure. May now going to be picking up his operating swings under the corners, able to find one. Showstopper as well. Getting into the back here, they have no idea. Karan gets in, oh. only picks up the one as May. A very quick snipe at close range. Munchkin going to win the 1v1 here in mid to give them a chance, but finally DFM kind of getting some uh, foundation underneath them at this point. Net as well. Want to pick this one up and even use his ult to spot exactly where Locky is approaching from. Yeah, well, nothing uh, ambiguous about this one. Locky is saying, well, it doesn't really matter where I go. I'll just try to get the plant down. He should have noted that Neth was there in the pit. So that is going to be double stacked. So that's decent information here for the side of Gen G. They turn their sights over on the B once again, where the operator not yet scouted out. Deja vu, perhaps. Pain Shell's coming down, and they're looking to clear this one out. They will take out May on the back of the site, and now the Seeker's coming out as well. Gen G looking to try to end this one here and now. We'll see if they can do that. They got the pit down. Meteor now trying to swing out the right side. He's not going to hit that shot, but at this well, making it interesting, a 1v1, but it is going to be Locky to take it down, and Gen G will win the first map of split 13 to 8. And try to line this one up when Genji do make the way onto the site, as all five of them have I mean, yeah, so far. Five man into mount here. Uh, Spam he's coming across. He's it. holding this one, and he's going to continue holding it. They need to get him off this one right now, but they're not going to be able to do so. This, that fight is not in position to take him down. 
Bay is going to look for the final kill. He'll find it. Hmm. Texture rotating over towards the A site, which is where this push actually will come through. Okay, they're suspecting the presence here on Rubble, so Paranoia does so find some value. Bay, though, back Rubble. Trying to see what he can get, but he actually manages to get Texture. Karen now in a really rough position, has to just rotate out, puts himself behind the wall, TPs across into the site itself. And has taken quite a bit of damage, so 51 there on the Omen as Lakia. Spotting multiple making their way over towards the door. Does take a little bit of damage there. Prowler going to be quickly dealt with. Yeah. It's a nice slow push through from the side of DFM. They already got the one pick. They're clearing out the baby door. Maybe trying to go in onto the B site, but not committing to that just yet. Season bite thrown down to really slow things up. And punch it again. So snappy with these Guardian shots. Finds him. Time dwindling. Ten, Ten seconds, seconds remaining. Left. His Meteor able to put May down, but they will be able to get this plant through with just a couple seconds to spare. 2v3, Meteor and Karen both dangerously low. Mm, the timing of this one as well. Not going to be spotted. Neth is looking in this direction. Ryan trying to catch him off guard, not quite able to do so. So a little bit of damage. I like the attempt from Karen, just try to get in, not give any notice, try to find that pick before the Nano can get popped. But with the cleanup coming through, Neth will find three as DFM will go ahead and is. Deep lurk here at Rubble from Medusa with that Odin in hand. Face your so trying to make their way across. And that's the Nightfall invested now from Anthem. So audio list here are the Genji players. Still looking for the challenge. And Munchkin going to be good for the first one. Readjust for the second. And it says it just He's the holding. same. Enemy He's Hold. holding. Yeah, hold is coming through. Snake bite. I don't think it's going to be deep enough. This way is not in time. He can't get the connection. Karen just sat there. Eventually will fall. But it's another steal away on this. Similarly, though. DFM are once again going to be taking some forward space over at A, completely ignoring that C side of the map, which Gen.G, they push forward, they identify that there's nobody there. So they should suspect that this is fairly committed, especially as May gets the opening kill in the Meteor. That's yeah, going to make things pretty obvious. Munchkin just waiting in the smoke himself. They're not going to spot him Munchkin. immediately. He picks up two and nearly gets a third. Gets May extremely low, and now Lakia able to come on in. He's decayed. For half of his HP, he's down to one. This is such a rough position to be in. Cut across, they will be able to get themselves into B. And his door gets broken open. There you go, now he's back to his full value <laughs> HP. <laughs> Two. <laughs> yeah, um, I got better than fight. one, I guess. Uh, they are going to get this plant down, but May, low on health, trying to... Uh, the interrupt. Yeah, not able to get it down, actually. Nats is not able to hold on to this one. So Gen G prediction, and it's it's working out so far. Still very early on, of course, but Dexter, a chance to maybe be taken out early. We'll see how this one is going to go. May picks up another over the top with the showstopper. Looking for a third, but Anthem going to take that one away. And they'll be happy with that one regardless. Another great entry here from the side of DFM. Quick rotates coming through. Munchkin about to arrive at the site. Will be here before that spike can get planted. Smoke a top rope. Plant around that left hand side. Spike planted. Munchkin just continuing to drift forward. Anthem now committed deep onto the site. An opportunity potentially for a big backstab here onto these players. This meteor spots him first, but okay. Meteor will be able to get one down. There's a lockdown now, invested. Paint shells available though for Bay. If he can bank this into the back, he might just be able to take this one down, but he, no, Ooh. it falls short. It doesn't clear the corner. Now he has to try to rush in, and he's actually just going to kill Meteor. Tap on the door though. Looks like DFM thinking about their options. B site close by. Looks like that's where they're going to head, but Meteor able to peek out and find Sesson. Just inside of that approach. Reveal comes through. Nano Swarm will buy a little bit of time and space here for DFM, but there's a lot more work to be done. All right, Anthem finally getting DFM on the board in this round. Picks up the first kill. Takes out Meteor, the one guy that was getting a bunch for Gen G. 30 Not seconds left. Going to be able to plant this one. They are considering moving over through Waterfall to see. But Munchkin is still here. Will they be able to root him out is really the question. 19 seconds left as the swing. Seems like Munchkin maybe not even expecting him there. And the plant should be held. Plant will come through. Munchkin having to back away as the poison arm gets ready to drop. That's the one who has to try to hold that line. Finds the first, but now three more plays to deal with. With 55 HP remaining. Same spot that we saw from Texture where he got the ace versus Paper Rex. But fortunately, Nath won't be able to find the follow-up. Texture on the jiggle looking to get some information. 
And he oh. is going to be taken down May with the headshot real quick. I was going to say, May, he had the quick adjustment out during that first jiggle. Now Showstopper going to be sent Munchkin in a very poor spot. Showstopper will not take him down. He's able to tuck back far enough to not get caught by it. Lockie will get net, but Spike being planted oh. now. But the uh -oh. fight back is coming through for Genji. Okay, nice pick off from May on top of the rope, and they are holding on to this one barely. It's Meteor 1v2. Very low are pretty much everybody who is left alive. Meteor shooting here. It tells them exactly where they were previously. The Prowler went in towards stairs, hadn't spotted anybody out, so they still have to be wary about that. But now they know exactly where he is. And May. Oh, we got some decent audio cues here for the team. Unlock you. Really wishing that they had come towards A. Careful. Grabs the orb before the plant comes in. So a little bit closer, but even against this weaker buy, chances not being taken. DFM won as many advantages as they could possibly get here on this attacker side. They know that this is where they should be winning out. Actually, with a showstopper, could be monstrous for them if they find an opener, but never mind May. Shut it down immediately before the thought can even cross his mind. Yeah, he was really the one guy who would have an opportunity, but it's just May who once again picks up two Sessa as well. If they get the one, and May gets three on the rounds. DFM. Air there. As that door was rotating around, and he will line it up, gets the spray. Neth's going to be taken out of the equation here. Given the ults available, things look overall quite good here for Gen G, but Anthem able to find one. Karen's going to be taken down, Showstopper rotating, playing ring around the Rosie here. Sends it, is eventually able to find a kill. 2v3, as May tries to get the jump, but Texture swings it from behind. He's able to take him down. Texture starting to heat up here. A, B, a formidable duo to get through. As now this push is coming on in relatively quickly. Looking to push in through tree. Texture gonna line up that shot onto Medusa already. As Genji slowly push through rubble and in towards the A side. As oh. now another kill is gonna come down here. Meteor just spraying through that one. And two kills. This is I mean, devastating already here for DFM. The way that they lost the opening pistol round on this map was something that they definitely would be regretting, but this now is getting out of hand. And that's just going to be the break here on the baby door. Rotate across in towards B. May standing here, but here's that paranoia coming through. So know that he has to back away. So he can't quite try to hold the angle to get that opening headshot. Now needs to try to re-aggress with the Sheriff. Yeah, very clean utility there on the entry from the side of Gen G. Just swarming that angle. Meteor as well going to pick up a kill here through the side of the door. Anthem does get the one, but still only two members left here on the side of DFM. Prowler. Not going to be enough, Karen. Now pushing out, and Munchkin is going to get that last kill onto Bay at the, the top. It's not enough left. to necessarily let them know, but it's actually going to be pushing to B, so there could be a quick crunch here for DFM. Yeah, do have uh, control of the site for now. Texture looking towards the back of that one. Do have a couple of guys in upper as well. Let's see how DFM do want to retake this one, as Genji have a very nice setup for now. Paranoia comes through. Medusa swing in the corner, immediately taken out by Munchkin. And now that's going to be two for him on this angle. And May's got to give it a shot as well. That's three for Munchkin as Genji are holding on to this one pretty much flawlessly. Neth, the last guy available as he will pick up one. But it doesn't well, look like a round win. Of course, it's texture. Just a really. <laughs> This spit on the chances of the analyst desk that it would deactivate or they're getting ready to attack that C site. So for now, he does still stay stuck. That shows how we're gonna get pulled out. <laughs> Just trying to spray at literally everything, but too many people coming in through three. And the headshots are crispy from the side of Gen G. Only two members left now on the side of DFM. Gen G starting to really run away with this map. These rounds are, are not really even that close after the half as Genji's attacker side has been very clean tonight. I'm just yet. On sent in, Neth now having to back away. Healing this info to his squad is, like Sessa was trying to rush forward and get the catch there on the Munchkin, but he's managed to make it out to safety. Plant now through. Lock in nearly with his Nightfall, but Meteor on this deep lurk in to be able to find the shot. That's Medusa taken down. Yeah, pretty huge stuff. I mean, he was just waiting on B. They didn't expect him to be pushed all the way up that far. And it's just an early pickoff that's going to take some retake power away 
from the side of DFM as they push through the smoke, locking a silly oh. on the side. He lines up three, just like that. And Texture puts an end to the round. 12 to 6. Genji on match point. Right back and hold. Just gonna be having to wait this out. He's still gonna be audio list. Some texture tries to go on the push and <laughs> will be rewarded with one kill. Showstopper in, however, oh. main fights too. Karen and Munchkin both gonna be taken down, but they still have to respect the lockdown, so they're forced away. But now it is a 4v2. Definitely feels like there's enough time for DFM to retake this one. Lock oh, sure. also shot in the back, and it's all up to Meteor in the 1v4. Not looking likely for him. They don't know exactly where he is, as he will peek out, gets one. Swing spots one. They've dropped down. Reaches down. Oh, up over the top. <laughs> Medusa went to the box, went back down to the platform. The DFM. Yeah, let's see. DFM now pushing out, actually. Anthem is going to get the one. Second swing comes out as well. Tap on the door there from Neth. Does force them back around the corner. So a little bit more space bought for Medusa's. They can get into a little bit more of a disconnected position. Don't be so you know, far forward committed. Seaside, though, looking like it may once again be the ending location for this spike, or the intended location, I should say, of the spike plant. Texture goes the peaks and oh, sees just enough of Neth to be able to take him down. Yeah. Just a tiny little piece of Neth was all he needed. And it's a quick one. Oh, and he's going to get marked up there as well. The rotation is coming in towards B. You can see that there's just uh, not really enough members of DFM to get this uh, defense going. They're going to put a pit down as well here on the attack is Gen G. They're going to have to counter pit into this one. Yeah. Make things a little bit more chaotic, a little bit more difficult to see. Try to get that decay across and then maybe some value off the paint shells. Obsessed with that paranoia on the opposite side. Could be big value for him. These things are already so obfuscated, but he's going to be the first one to get taken down. Karen able to find that kill. Yeah, down goes Medusa as well, so no more pit for them. And it's all up to May, as it has been for so many times on this map. He gets the one <laughs> on the Texture. Oh, Just man. one last kill for May over Texture, but it does not matter. Gen Z, they get Lotus. They got split.